There we go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're back for some more Mongolia. Last time out, we continued our expansion pretty much exclusively um, to the west at the expense of Chagatai, Oirat, um, and Yarkand. We left, uh, left a couple of those guys alive. But, oh, and Caradel, we uh, took their land off them and vassalized them, mostly to drag ourselves to war with uh, Chagatai, I believe. We also got ourselves a new vassal in the form of Kazak as well. So our vassals are now Caradel, Sang, and Kazak. So we're doing not bad. Um, Janzu annexed Haishi and then got their bums kicked by Korea. And uh, Ming is just doing its usual Ming thing. So let's jump right back in. Make sure the stream is alive. It is. Good stuff. Now, I started a little bit later this morning because I had trouble with my internet. So this may be a slightly shorter stream. Now, we have unhappy vassals. Oh boy, do we have unhappy vassals. Cam's happy enough. It. If you're dead as well, since it's so cheap to do so. You have no debt to pay off, but well... And we've got Caradel Separatists wanting to rise up as well. Hmm. Well, didn't need them anyway. Uh, where's the last guy? Obdo. Be good. And we need to let our manpower recover a bit as well. They say, but equally, we could just. Oh, we could not. I actually don't have enough influence. Probably because we didn't raise a host. Oh well. Or did we raise a host? No, we did not. Ah, right. Reprimanding them is... Probably has probably hurt them a little bit, but hey ho. We'll continue on for now. Get my army back to home base. Time. I would quite like to go over and slap Yeren. Because Junj. Well, I want to do that before either of them get uh, too big for their boots. You're in. I don't remember them having a large army. Okay, let's sort by alphabeticalized. Ah, yes. I totally know how to spell. And we can complete our expand Mongolia mission, which is quite nice. But I think we're going to do a bit more developing later. I'm also on the fence about this fort here. Quite on the fence about it. But it's in the mountains. It's a mountainous fort. Which means if we can get to it to defend it when it's under siege, then we win. But if we can't and it gets taken, then we lose. It's really as simple as that. Got all the claims I can get with Yeren. I should really be making more claims on Haishi or Haixi or... I don't know. Making claims on this guy here. Ah, yes. I was wondering why the armies weren't moving and I realised it was still on pause. Thing you want to influence me, don't you? The old pal. 
Uh, your capital's down in Miyugasan. If you're clever, you'll stand there and defend it in the mountains and make things very difficult for me. In fact, all your terrain makes things difficult for me. Red. Oh, what we can do is we can use uh, Merc Star Advantage to try and... Um... Oh, hey, FBKTY. I am enjoying the, uh, I'm enjoying the play as Mongolia. It's great fun. Treason against Mongolia. This is, this is unfortunate. Buryatia gives us much in the way of manpower anyway. That gives us a bit. But it is unfortunate. I'm not uh, going for the professionalism just yet. Have the, okay, Yarkan Separatist, you really want to rise up. Let's just give you the autonomy that you well, You're all below 10, so I could get rid of you all. Been coming. Fire a little bit, I think. I don't want to take land before I can effectively core it. But yes, this has been a great suggestion to play as Mongolia. I am... Uh, we're getting my uh, my own bum handed to me on a platter in the first session. Um, I've I've really been enjoying this. I actually quite enjoyed. Uh, okay, yeah, you can. You're just gonna rise up, aren't you? This is quite high. It's a shame because I really wanted to keep this uh, gold mine. Oh jeez, right, okay, we can't actually get rid of them all. Because of Urumki. So annoyed. Uh, separatism. Check it, I can it. Whoopsies. Kashgar and Turban. Shgar, yes. I missed. Ah, over here, of course. Turns out that just uh, expanding without limit has uh, has downsides. Who would have thought? Bech Balik. Probably over here as well, somewhere. Uh, maybe not. It was indeed. I am just blind. Grand. Well, that'll hold things off for, well, for a while. We could see about getting an unrest advisor. Bit expensive, though. We are making money, but I'd like to keep making money. Tax you would not pay for yourself at all. Really, it's gold that's helping us a lot here. Trade as well, to a lesser, or to a greater extent, technically, but... For all the land we have, <laughs> half of our income from half half of our income from trade is duplicated by the gold mine here. So, just goes to show you, we'll probably make more from trade further down the line. Now, actually, thinking about it, if I was smart. Uh, occasionally I am not smart like all the time I could send you guys over here and get the friendly troops bonus because I won't need you hugely disgusting amount of foot troops in the army already hey little panda speaking of not smart things I've been doing is developing my capital without whacking an edict on it so I'm gonna actually whack an edict on it right now develop it more better income but it'll help our uh, monarch points 
Really, we're just waiting for these cores to tick up a little bit. But actually, we could probably just go to war with them. Um, drop back a province. Uh, Caradel, you're going to be pissed off anyway, so I need the diplomat here. And we'll make it tribal feud for Urkan. Urkan. Oh, and they're my rival. That's cool. Quite nice indeed. I uh, need to boost up that power projection. Let's fall back to one of Gaul. What I'd like for them to do is to send their army into my into my lands. There. Uh, and I can fight them in some more Oof. Warriors do not read books. Yeah, we do not. What even is a book? our unrest but the cores actually finishing will help our unrest so yeah those will tick down now there they are right you're in do you want to come out the woods who are you even if I can lure them into attacking me, 1,000 is a bit likely to get squished. Got yourself a nice general. Shame it's all in fire. Nice generals, we should really bring our useful one back. Making your way into my country, that's fine by me. Start making some moves. If it means catching one or both of you in favourable terrain. 15th of November, so I'll only catch one of them. But that's fine. I'll get the 10 to 1. Oh, you have more. Okay then. You're not sure what you're doing now. I can't quite get to you, but... See if we can cut you off somewhere. The mountains, so if they do want to attack my little split-off stack, they're going to have to uh, do it on my terms. Where are you going now, Sitsen? That's perfect, actually. If you lock yourself in there, I will be most happy. And you have. Assuming I can catch you. And hey, good guy Cam is here over over, over to help. Over to help his padre. And you're in the plains, so good luck with that. Uh, Alright, Cam, please go and siege this down for me. I don't want to take the attrition. Come and help me as well. Lovely. You will not escape. As ever, the shock phase. Oh, we're not doing as well in the shock phase this time. It's uh, there's a little bit there actually. But, but we killed them. We killed them dead. That's all that really matters. Go. And you can go and sit here. Problem is now they can re-raise their other, the rest of their troops. So we need to be careful about that. Getting blockaded. Where do we even have a coast? Oh, I see here technically. Ah, uh, Germany, Christmas. Okay. March into the mountains then, I guess. We're gonna die. Oh no, we're, we're gonna live. No, we're gonna die. Uh, well. 
See, sometimes I'm smart, but sometimes I'm not. Dash for their capital because they've got blooming pretender rebels. Uh, those pretender rebels might just save you. <laughs> You're right. Which could we take? Nothing without any forts. Okay. That's uh, a little bit disgusting, but hey ho. Well, I didn't really want to pay for that army anyway. They'd be using mercs to protect my uh, protect my investments, investments in manpower. you also need to die. Wanting to fabricate a spy network on us. Have a... You are actually a little bit short on uh, useful things here, so I'm going to back you up. Tang have rivaled me, which is fine, because I want to fight them anyway. Wars, which I can get back for Cam. Which, of course, is just going to make my... Oh, God. Vassal's less happy. Chagatai figures. Right. Well, probably. Okay, now. Bergnan Separatists. Bergana, I have never heard of you. Bergana. For one province, you sure have a reasonably sized stack. Can't do anything about that anyway. Oh, well. Those are, uh, that is a slightly terrifying stack of pretender rebels, has to be said. <sighs> oh, nice. Barguzin, if I was developing you, I would go for that. But let's keep Ming happy. Fortunately, we'll keep that horde unity up. Actually embraced Renaissance already. It's quite nice. Quickly, will you spread? Is the question. Yes, these places don't even have feudalism, or some of them don't. Yeah, not fast at all is the answer to that. So, ching. Since it's not going to spread, um, it'll the cost will only just go up over time. So that's why I'm embracing it right now, which I wouldn't necessarily always do. You know, it's, uh, I wonder if those pretender rebels are going to move once they win that siege. Also, you should really have a general. Really have a general. Jings, you red, you love your cavalry. I 
Spec is no longer a valid rival for me. What happened to you, Spec? Nothing much. Bergens are wanting to make their voices heard. Well, they need to raise autonomy there as well. So I wait for you to embrace the capital. We know where you're going to rise up. You without backup, though. Well, in for a penny. Take the uh, general with the maneuver to get there faster, because it's going to take you a while to get there across the entirety of the country. Tribal feud. Uh, do anything to them. Vile rabble. Oh. So my hope is that once these pretend rebels occupy the capital, they'll move off it. I can then quickly siege it down, occupy it, and take... I don't know. Take maybe all but one of their provinces. Leave the pretender rebels in place. They can enforce their demands and disappear, and I can gobble the rest of your end up at some point. Junju separatists as well. Dan has a peasant war. It's a bad time to not be me. Beck, indeed. Discovered in High Shi, though. Ah, these provinces do not border, which means you're not protected by the fort. Hey, you're moving. Oh, you're in. <laughs> okay, then. I wonder. Don't think I could beat whoever wins that battle. It's probably going to be the tribes. Stand them on the province, although it will help bring down the um oh boy. Oh there, that's fine. At least someone though. Yeah, there they go. They would have squished the, the three thousand foot soldiers. I don't think I can get them before um Before they occupy, so it's going to be a, some more separatism, but yeah, live. Got a reasonable, a reasonable general as well, which is annoying. Tribes. if I could take those guys on with a couple more tray. Cam have a reasonable general. I have a reasonable general. 10,000 though and a lot of cavalry. They actually have a lot more than 10,000 but they only have 10,000 at the moment.
Try that again. Now you're in, what am I going to do with you? The alternative I have is to just punch money out of them. If I can't take any land and I just take the land from Haishi instead. The trouble with that is they probably don't have a lot of money. Got a reasonable amount. Eat them as well, actually. Might not be a bad idea to cut my losses and run. See, may not even be able to get the, the uh, war for that. Oh, you're marching out of there. Oh, well, that's quite nice. Timmy can deal with you. In that case, what I'll do is I will leave this under, uh, not under siege, I'll leave this to be re-sieged or de-sieged at a later date when I'm more confident that these guys have disappeared. So I de-siege it now, there's every chance they'll just walk straight back in there and uh, re-siege it. And if I can get uh, Timmy to deal with the rebels for me, then so much the better. Still attempting to take this. Outbreak. Tempt me. Well, I marched in there right now. Tribes to march out, I think. They'll get their tick of garrison, but that's fine. Assuming they do march out. Here They're going to here, which is fine by me. We can uh, get ourselves in there. Sconce ourselves in the velvet of the capital. Then your end from taking it. Taking the fort will let us demand a bunch more stuff. And uh, Kazak are going to retake some lands as well. Ah. Brilliant. Can also park my uh, proper army in the mountains as well. Try and force the tribes to engage us in unfavorable terrain. They're going to go and squish Kazak though, I think. Our general, but what can you do? Oh, yeah, we've kept ourselves out. Let's take Tech 6. And power is recovering nicely. Our uh, occupations are not recovering nicely, but get the capital. 